What's up everybody out there in YouTube land, Rat251 here with a bit of a longer video for you guys today. This is an SCP centric video and this was requested by one of my biggest fans, Miku Hatsune. She's been with me since the beginning. She had, she's managed to stick around. A lot of the guys who used to comment and request things all the time, they haven't. I don't think, I think it's because they're not really into the whole TF2 stuff because they were requesting things when I was doing a lot of abridged, you know, and other videos, all kinds of other videos, and they used to request all different kinds of stuff, like, uh, you know, Dylan Howell, Cooper, Cooper 17 something, and, you know, a few others, who used to request all the time, you know, I don't hear from them anymore, you know, if you guys ever watch this, I would like to hear from you guys once in a while, you know, you guys were my first fans, but Mika Hatsune still pops in from time to time and suggests stuff, she loves the SCP stuff, so here it is, something she requested, SCP-096 Remastered Illustrated, by, this says the shy guy. Okay, oh yeah, that's 096 is the shy guy. And this was actually, is actually by SCP Illustrated, okay? Uh, they do some really creepy stuff here, actually. It's pretty good. And this is actually over 40 minutes, so we're in for a thing, all right? So let's go. 096 miniseries. <laughs> hey there, dear viewers. <laughs> Please note that there is a lot of content within this miniseries that I have made. Ah, uh, okay. I was trying to read that in a creepy voice. But, okay, just whatever. <laughs> Establishing video. Good day, everybody, and welcome to SCP Illustrated, Entry Log 65. After weeks of waiting, SCP-096 is here, and that is what we will be looking at today. I've already done SCP-096, yep. however, given how much I've learned and developed over the past year, I wanted to have another crack at this and bring some better production value to such an iconic SCP. Yeah, he is one so of the So please know that this SCPs. is a Euclid-level SCP, and anyone that knows SCP-096 should know to expect blood, violence, and dismemberment. Yep. Oh, and without any further ado, let's just get straight into called, this. Uh, oversimplified SCP. It's hilarious. Because they actually show the termination experiment with six. Uh, the confidential data release of this SCP has been authorized by the following 62. council and, and administration it's like, Don't look staff. look at me! And 62 says, Shut the fuck up! And they're just fighting. Description. It's hilarious. SCP 096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. That's big. The subject shows very little muscle mass with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Mild? Arms that looks a lot more mild, dude. proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of one and a half meters each. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation, with no it sign of any body hair. It looks like a homeless slender man, okay? SCP-096's jaw can <laughs> open to four mouth. times the norm of an average human. Other facial features remain similar to an average human, <sighs> with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is not yet known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no sign of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, whether it be directly via video recording or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. <laughs> Approximately <laughs> one to two minutes after the first viewing, SCP-096 will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-096-1. Documented speeds have varied from 35 kilometers an hour to kilometers run, an hour. Run, white boy, run. And seems to depend on distance from SCP-096-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. Huh. The actual position of SCP-096-1 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-096-1's location. Notes. This reaction does not occur when viewing artistic depictions. Well, duh. See document 096-1. Upon arriving at SCP-096-1's location, SCP-096 will proceed to kill and SCP-096-1. 100% of cases, 
have left no traces of SCP-096-1. SCP-096 will then sit down for several right minutes <laughs> before regaining its composure so and becoming bad. docile once again. 096 couldn't kill her. It will then attempt to make its way back to its Extra natural habitat. Thick. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of Foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, retrieval of the subject should be considered alpha priority. Doctor has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096, see interview 096-1. Termination order has been approved and is to be carried out by Dr. on see incident 096-1-A. Okay. Special containment procedures. Lock it up. SCP-096 is to be contained in its cell a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096's cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure SCP-096's presence inside the cell. Any and all photos, video, and all recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden, without approval from Dr. and O5... O5 blank. Audio log from Interview 096-1. Interviewer, Dr. Interviewed, Captain. Former Commander of Retrieval Unit, Zulu-9 Alpha. Retrieval, Retrieval incident 096-1-A. Get Begin your shit right. Nitpicking. I'm just kidding. Time. <laughs> no, Research that's just area. stupid to bitch about stuff like that. Yeah, it he saw some shit. To get initial retrieval duty. Yep. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of, besides what jacked up information the field techies can scrape up. And you're lucky if they even tell you the whole story. Yeah. They told us to bag and tag. <laughs> Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Could you well, describe the mission, please? The yeah, mission? sorry. Snatch and grab, man. We had two choppers. One with my team, and one on backup with Zulu-9B and Doctor. We spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm guessing he wasn't facing our direction, else he would have taken us out there and then. Your report says SCP-096 didn't react to the cold. It was minus degrees Celsius. Why Actually, is that redacted minus... information? And yes, it was butt naked and didn't so much as shiver. Anyway, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal got ready to bag it. That's when Doctor called. I turned to answer it, and that's what saved me. The target must have turned, and my whole squad saw it. That's when SCP-096 entered an agitated emotional state. Yep. Interview now pauses for a second before continuing. Sorry. Got the willies for yep. a second. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I never saw its face. My squad did, and they paid for it up the arse. Could <laughs> yeah. you describe it? Is that what it does? More, it proceeds to kill and blank? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it started oh, shit. screaming at us and crying. Not animal roaring, though, sounded exactly like a person. Really fucking creepy. We started firing when it picked up Corporal and ripped off his leg. Whoa! God. He was screaming for our help. Fucking. <laughs> anyway. This is a pretty good we reading. He actually chunks is really good at out this. the target round after round. It didn't do jack shit. I almost lost it when it started. him. That's when you ordered the use of an 84 HEDT launcher. An anti tank gun. Yeah, Started yeah. carrying it ever since SCP got loose. Yeah, pretty I've sure seen that's 682. Tear through tanks like tissue paper. Did the same thing to the target. There was significant damage to SCP 096. It didn't even fucking flinch. It kept tearing apart my squad, but with half its torso gone. He draws a large half circle across his torso. But it was taking damage? If it was, it wasn't showing it. 
He didn't must have care. lost all of its organs and all its blood, but it didn't acknowledge any of it. Its bone structure wasn't hurt at all, though. It kept tearing my squad apart. So no actual structural damage. Nope. How many rounds would you say were fired at SCP-096? At the, the least, bones are indestructible. a thousand. Our door gunner kept his GAU-19 on it for at least 20 seconds. 20 uh, fucking yeah. seconds. That's 650 caliber it rounds pumped into the thing. Might as well have been spitting at it. This, this is when Zulu 9B arrived. Seconds. Yeah, my <laughs> squad was gone. Zulu 9B managed to get the bag over its head and it just sat down. We caught it into the chopper and got it here. I don't know how I never saw its face. Maybe God or Buddha or whoever thought I should live. The jackass. <laughs> we have obtained an artist's depiction of SCP-096's face. Would you like to view it? No! You know, after hearing that thing's screams and the screams of my men, I don't think I want to put a face to what I heard. Yeah. All right. How about no? I believe we're done here. Thank you, Captain. Chairs are heard moving and footsteps leave the room. Captain is confirmed to have left interview room 22. Let this be on record that I am formally requesting SCP-096 be terminated as soon as possible. End log. It's not like they can get any use out of the damn thing. Document I mean, 096 it didn't work in the 62 one. termination attempt. Documentation 096-1 of experiment 096-1. Experiment 096-1 is headed by Dr. Dan. Purpose is to test SCP-096's abilities while obtaining complete physical description of SCP-096. Not a good idea. D-9031 is a 32-year-old convicted felon and former oh, tattoo yeah. artist. D-9031 is placed inside Bathysphere 303 Alpha, which is then lowered into the Tonga Trench off the coast of New Zealand. Position is approximately Blank. kilometers from SCP-096's temporary containment cell at site. The following was recorded by video surveillance inside Bathysphere 303 Alpha, between it and Dr. Dan's control site on the New Zealand mainland. Bathysphere 303 Alpha reaches final depth of 10,800 meters. It stopped. What now? What now? You feel fine. No sickness, anything. My ears hurt. That should be expected. Now, on your left should be a steel container. Open it, and there will be a manifold folder holding several photographs. Open it, and describe the first photograph, please. D-9031 complies. The camera is located so the photograph cannot be seen. Nothing. It's an empty cell. Thank you. Please set this photograph face down in the receptacle to your right, and look at the next photograph. It's the same cell, but there's a foot in it, I think. Describe it, please. Uh, it's pal and bony. Sort of creepy, actually. Place creepy the photograph actually. in the receptacle face down, and look at the next one. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> Describe the photograph. Looks like my Aunt it's Betty. A, I don't know, some creepy-ass person. Describe the photograph, please. Come in, he's pale, as wild as something fucked up happening with his mouth. What the hell is this thing? At this point, approximately 1332 standard time, Dr. Dan in experiment control is notified that SCP-096 has breached containment. The fastest path to SCP-096-1 has been cleared of civilians and other image capturing devices and SCP-096 is now being tracked by satellite via a tracking collar. Mm -hmm. On your right, there should be another steel container. Open it. It's a pad of paper and a pencil. Yes. Please draw a sketch of the photograph you saw. SCP-096-1 mumbles an expletive and spends the next 20 minutes drawing a sketch of the photograph. <laughs> At the time of completion, SCP-096 is confirmed to be kilometers away from SCP-096-1. I'm done. Good. Place the drawing in the receptacle on your left and close the door. SCP-096-1 complies and the sketch leaves Bathysphere 303 at Alpha in a watertight buoyancy container. The other photographs are then incinerated in the onboard incinerator. What now? Please stand by. Well, you die. 40 minutes pass. <laughs> SCP-096 is now confirmed to be at SCP-096-1's position and is diving. 
transponder signal ends at 9,339 meters as pressure goes beyond the device's operational limits. The camera shows the bathysphere shaking slightly. From SCP-096-1's reaction, it is assumed SCP-096 is on the hull and is visible through the viewport. Oh fuck shit shit shit, what the fuck is that? <laughs> the video and audio feed is cut as the whole of Bathysphere 303 Alpha is breached. Yep. SCP-096 is recovered by surface recovery team Foxtrot 303 Alpha without incident. Sketch of SCP-096 is also recovered and a quick test confirms no hostile reaction from SCP-096. Sketch is sent to experiment control on New Zealand while SCP-096 is moved to permanent containment. Damn, that was just cruel. Incident 096-1A. So containment has been attained? Yes, Doctor. Let me see the security footage. No! Begin log. <laughs> a large steel cube is shown in the middle of a research lab, which is teeming with a dozen or so researchers. In view of the camera is a control booth, displaying readings from various sensors inside the cube. Fast forward 1 minute 32 seconds. Boom. The control booth operator leans forward alerted to the various readings on the sensors. Approximately 5 seconds later, a steel wall on the containment cube receives a sizable dent bending outward. The dent becomes larger before breaking. SCP-096 is seen bitch. bending the steel away, frantically trying to escape. Emergency plates dropped on the cube as the containment breach is sounded. The security tape has SCP-096's face blurred out as per containment protocol. Two security teams enter the room as SCP-096 breaks out of containment. Live rounds and tranquilizer darts are fired to no visible effect. Approximately 90% of researchers and security personnel have directly viewed SCP-096's face, and a code Lima is declared. Dude, the room and surrounding that, areas are sealed it, and flushed with and face the wall. class nerve agent. Approximately two minutes later, SCP-096 breaches research site and travels Blank. kilometers an hour through the outside desert, traveling... End log. End log. Echo Romeo Actual was assigned to immediate containment breach. When we realized just how big a breach we were dealing with, we were completely overwhelmed. Funny how even the best and brightest minds in the world can be so unprepared. In fact, actually, that's so a lot easier than you would it think. Is your own fault? Absolutely not. This was a new discovery in SCP-096's behavior. We had no way to know, and we are lucky it did not turn into an XK. Begin log. Helm cam footage from ERA-5. Footage from inside a UH-60 shows SCP-096 on the desert floor, moving at considerable speed. This is Echo Romeo Actual. We have visual of the target at knots and increasing. ERA-1 listens to the radio as orders, identified as coming from Dr. Dan, are relayed. SCP-096 can be seen slowly gaining speed. ERA-1 motions off camera. ERA-3 appears holding a modified XM-500 anti-material rifle. Two shots are fired. The first misses and the second hits SCP-096 in the lower leg. SCP-096 stumbles but recovers. Speed change is insignificant. Shoot it in no the head. effect on target. ERA-1 mentions to ERA-3 again. ERA-3 fires go. three more shots. The first two miss and the third hits SCP-096 in the head. SCP-096 falls, skids and rolls several times, reducing its speed minimally. SCP-096 rolls to its feet and continues unabetted. Camera pans up to see eight V-22 Ospreys, belonging to MTF-TAU-1, flying overhead and past the helicopters on the same outbound vector as SCP-096. Camera cuts out. End log. End log. End log. Be Begin log. Video yeah. interview log 0961A. Dr. Alexi appears very calm, determined, and answers all questions slowly and deliberately. What were you looks exactly like a weirdie. at the time of the breach? On break, getting a cup of coffee. It was pure luck I wasn't caught in the containment area. Describe your actions directly after the containment breach. 
I sent Echo Romeo Actual after SCP-096 and alerted Dr. Dan to the situation. We then set upon the task of locating SCP-096-1. Once the general direction of SCP-096 was determined, I sent Mobile Task Force TAU-1 ahead to evacuate civilian population centres in SCP-096's path, all according to containment protocol. End log. Okay. Somebody actually did their frickin' job. Begin log. Video interview log 096-1-B. Dr. Dan sits patiently. On the table in front of him is what looks like to be a set of modified night vision goggles. For the record, where were you exactly during SCP-096's containment breach? Your mom's the... house. <laughs> Mountain range. Trying to find more information on SCP-096's origins. It was a quick research expedition, so I left Dr. Alexei in charge of containment. He is competent enough, if a bit eager, and has proved eager, himself eager. in the past. This is all confirmed by the various related paperwork, so don't go thinking- Oh, that was all just for the record, Doctor. Now, knowing that SCP-096 is immune to all forms of damage while in an enraged state, why would you order the sniper attacks from the emergency response team? Why not? If there was a chance to slow down SCP-096 and give MTF-TAU one more time, then we had to try. It put ERA in no danger, and the choppers were in danger of being outrun anyway. Honestly, ERA could do little else to help or harm the situation. I see. Now, could you explain this? Interview emotions to the goggles lying on the table. Yes, this is Project Scramble, an eyepiece we assigned to ERA and MTF-TAU-1, designed by Dr. Alexei and myself specifically for SCP-096. It carries a small microprocessor, which constantly analyzes the viewing field for the facial features of SCP-096. Facial recognition software inside instantly identifies them, scrambling the image into an unrecognizable mess before the light reaches the human eye. It's quite ingenious, really. Yeah, but it don't work. Very. Which is why it's a shame it didn't work. Yeah. End log. Begin log. It just Audio transcript between MTF TAU one and modified EG three century AWAX. Call sign Big Brother. Ospreys in the air, moving. Ospreys. Why the people hell do people use Waiting those things? Those damn things are death traps. I ain't shitting you guys. Electronics online. Cruising altitude reached. Uploading program scramble to all camera systems. Oh, I know that Cameras voice. Cameras online. Big Brother is now watching. What outbound vector is the target currently heading? Target is currently westbound, traveling on... Shit. Yeah, he's on the I-40. I think he just put the semi. Um, outbound vector is... Degrees by... Next town, this vector is... I'd say a couple hundred kilometers. Shit, MTF. We're suggesting Echo Romeo beginning back way in the I-40. I don't know how many cars the target is wrecked. Shit, all of them. one. That's a negative, Big Brother. ERA is reporting that the target is outrunning their choppers. And they can't get ahead of them. Oh, God. They get nice. them to stop the motors on the other lane. I don't know how many people I've seen in this next space. End log. A lot. The first three elements massacre. of TAU-1 succeeded in gathering the townsfolk in the first three towns of our incident. SCP-096-1 was confirmed to not be in any of these when SCP-096 ran through each in turn without stopping. However, a video log in MTF-TAU shows SCP-096-1 being identified in the town of Data expand under the ensuing incident. Show it. Begin log. Helm cam footage from Element 4 of MTF-TAU-1 in the town of... Most of the townspeople are gathered in the square, all blindfolded. Helicopters sweep the town. Indistinct orders are heard over loudspeakers from both the helicopters and ground personnel. The target is entering proximity zone. All units activate scramble gear and begin crowd control procedures. All civilians are not to move from their spot or remove their blindfolds. If you move or touch your blindfold, you will be shot. I repeat, all I thought those was the indistinct. 
Orders are drowned out by a large shriek coming from outside the camera's view. Yeah. Approximately two kilometers away, SCP-096 is seen to be coming over the crest of the hills. It tries to slow down on the descent, but trips and tumbles down at high speed, crashing through several houses before regaining its footing almost without delay. Once again, civilians are not to move. You will be shot. I repeat. Several shots are heard, none of which are directed at SCP-096. SCP-096 stops for one second before running into the crowd of townsfolk, throwing many aside and trampling more. More shots are heard as the crowd begins dispersing. The loudspeakers unintelligible under the vocalizations of SCP-096. SCP-096 locates SCP-096-1, a middle-aged man, and the camera views SCP-096 grabbing him before it is hit by a fleeing townsperson and is dislocated from the helmet. End log. Begin log. Begin log. Video interview log 096-1-C. I was uh This is a total cluster. I was fuck. looking through 96's house with my squad. Poor bastard was a semi-pro mountaineer. Took a trip to the Apparently he took a snapshot of the landscape and just happened to catch 9-6 in the background. Wilford holds up four fingers for emphasis. Four pixels. Four fucking pixels. I doubt the guy even knew what he saw. He was probably just looking at the picture one day, noticed an off-color patch of snow and went on with his day. Jeez. How did you find it? Our scramble gear picked it up right away. Lieutenant got the picture and, and took it down to the chopper before I ever got to see it. By then, the damn monster had taken down Big Brother and it had peeled open Major Stryker. All hell was breaking loose. So the scramble gear was ineffective? Ineffective? The goddamn scrambles were pieces of shit that killed the whole damn task force. Yeah. You know, only nice. three people are alive besides me? All because some retard egghead thought of a state-of-the-art countermeasure to 9-6's hostile reaction. Those bloody idiots could have just put a bag over the target's head and be done with it. But no. No, we had to use state-of-the-fucking-art scramble. That is an excellent point. Begin log. What did that fucker call me? Dr. Dan pushes back from the table and begins standing up. <laughs> I'll show that goddamn son of a bitch what an egghead is after I bash open his interview. He begins shouting and cursing. <laughs> Two guards enter the room and push Dr. Dan back into Calls his seat. You an egghead. <laughs> Do we need to administer a sedative, doctor? Yeah, go Dr. ahead. Dr. Dan takes a breath and Give smooths his coat. Give me the good shit. No, no. I apologize. Yeah, besides, he's attack. Scramble unit. was really an ingenious Officer, idea. Officer, dude, he kicked your and ass. It was a failure because we did not fully know how SCP-096 worked. You see, as the chip inside Scramble picked up SCP-096's facial features and began scrambling them, there was a split second of uninterrupted light flow to the retina. Computers are fast, but not as fast as light. So there was a split second image. You would have to do. It would have to be a delay of at least a couple of seconds. It wasn't even between what you received. see and what you know happens. But apparently, it was enough to trigger the hostile reaction in SCP-096. And so with this report of the photograph... That's the most disturbing part of this whole incident. You know when the former SCP-096-1 went on his mountain trip? 1990... That's oh. years of that photo hanging there before he saw SCP-096. Since the brain doesn't need to be aware that it is viewing SCP-096's face to trigger a reaction, there can be ticking time bombs hidden literally anywhere in the world. Yep. How many photographs are out there containing SCP-096 just going unnoticed, waiting for the careful eye? As I said before, I want this thing terminated now. End log. Does I recall he engineered the whole damn just thing, didn't he? Just a quick question, Doctor. Um, what exactly were you planning on doing there? Major Jack Wilford was top-notch SPS when we recruited him. I was also a recon medic and was deployed in Calcasus. Marines beat Special Boat Service. No, they don't. Enough, both <laughs> of you. Moving on. Burn! Begin log. 
Video interview log 096-1-B. No, they don't. <laughs> I got the bag over its head. Yes, you've told me that. Could you tell me exactly what transpired? It... It was done with all its... It was sitting there in the highway. Just got done ripping open a minivan. Interview is silent. And? I'm... Wes landed the chopper. I got out and bagged it. I put the bag over its head. It got calm, and they took it. And so the victims in the minivan were the last to have viewed SCP-096's face. So it goes Interviewer in order of silent. view, not order of proximity? Interviewee remained silent for the remainder of the interview and oh, was released. Geez. He was later found in his bunk room having committed suicide via hanging with a makeshift rope. A half-crushed pacifier was found in his fist. End log. Jeez. Begin log. Video log 096-1-D. Confiscated tape from news broadcast CNN. CNN. The image shows first responders surrounding the remains of a crashed plane over the shoulder of a field reporter. The plane, which seems to be military in origin, has no outward markings designating it as a part of the US military. While first responders look for a black box recording, it is thought by police that the plane crashed due to a massive cabin breach in both the cockpit and fuselage. The reporter motions to a large hole in the side of the plane, which several firefighters are climbing inside. Paramedics have only found uh -oh. three bodies, which is odd for a plane apparently requiring a crew of around 20 men. Police have suggested... The reporter is cut off as three super stallions are shown hovering overhead two of which land and begin unloading troops belonging to MTF Epsilon. Shots off the camera, shots off the motherfucker. End up. Yeah, shot off the motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. So are we finished here? But one last question, Doctor, or statement, as it seems. Uh, we find it interesting that there was no break room at research site. Or coffee. Or Interview coffee. Interview remains silent. Uh, we think it would be best if you begin talking. Remainder of video interview log 096-1-A redacted. <laughs> End log. Apparently things got creative. Security clearance gateway. The remaining audio recording has been redacted by O5 command. Only personnel with level 5 or high clearance may access this file. Administrator clearance accepted. Okay. Video interview log 096-1-A continued. continued. I'm waiting, doctor. I was not in the break room. Yes, we know that. There Where was no break room, dipshit. Interviewer remains silent. Uh, I was Where waking off Interviewer the bathroom, closes okay? his folder and gets up from the chair. Good day, Doctor. Interviewer leaves. Four minutes later. Door opens and 05 1 enters, accompanied by two guards. Dr. Alexei <laughs> stands. Sit. Sit. Dr. Alexei resumes his seat. You know who I am, and I think you can gather from that just how serious this is. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, yeah, we're so screwed. Interviewee remains silent. Dr. Alexei, may I assure you that it is in your very best interests that you start talking? I am not exaggerating when I tell you that your life could very well depend on what you say or don't say next. Dr. Alexei fidgets in his chair and sighs before continuing. <laughs> very well. Myself and Dr. Dan have long known the dangers that SCP-096 presented Dr. Dan made multiple attempts to make the O5 and you and the seniors understand that SCP-096 had to be terminated as soon as possible. He heard nothing back. No termination order, not even a suggestion there would be a discussion about it. We devised a scenario to finally make you and the other O5s understand that SCP-096 has to die. We knew it would have to be something quite big for you to take notice, however it was all for the greater good. It had for to die. For the greater good, asshole. Go oh my god. That, that photograph line. wasn't that many Hate years that old line. at all. Pricks. SCP-096 was transported to the mountain range. Dr. Dan had contacted an old friend who was exploring in the area and was going to use him as part of this scenario without the civilian knowing. Dr. Dan and his friend climbed the mountains and met up with myself and a D-class we took with us to take the photograph. The same friend that caused SCP-096 the breach containment? Yes. Continue. Continue? Keeping it short, 
SCP-096 was being held very far back in the background with a couple of agents, while the D-Class took the photo. Dr. Dan and the friend then continued on their way, and I instructed the D-Class to look at a very specific point on the photograph which he did. The agents informed me SCP-096 had entered an enraged state. I didn't see it, but the screams and sounds were enough to confirm that the experiment had been a success. The agents bagged SCP-096 and we transported him and us all back to site. And they did all this without, you know, I anybody later finding out. Dr. Dan. Okay, let's skip ahead to the breach, please, and return to the initial question. Where were you? It's like a fifth time we've asked that damn question. Uh, Dr. Dan met up with the same friend from the mounting experiment in his home. He had him view the photo. The friend looked at the location of SCP-096, which triggered SCP-096 to enter an enraged state and break containment. Uh, prior to this, Dr. Dan had called me to inform me that the breach was about to commence. I left SCP-096's containment area knowing that the area would be flooded with nerve gas the moment it broke containment. I informed Dr. Dan that SCP-096 had broken containment and was headed for SCP-096-1, at which point he left. He coordinated most of MTFTAU-1 from his car virus phone. Look, Why the hell I know this, this, this looks this bad, but this had to be 5 one holds up his hand to silence Dr. Alexei. So, what I can gather from this is that you and Dr. Dan caused this breach, and the subsequent deaths of more than 300 staff and civilians Jeez. Because you wanted to prove a point. Yes. I... I suppose yes. You... What do you mean, you yes? You jack off. It wasn't, wasn't meant to go that off. way? We thought that the scramble gib... That piece of <laughs> shit fucked over the entire task force. 96% of the entire task force killed. So you came up with all of it. The staged photograph, the containment breach, the use of a civilian in an unauthorized experiment. All of it. Do you have any idea what you could have done? You could have caused a fucking XK if a single news camera or a cell phone had captured its face and gone public. We couldn't know. You didn't know shit. And couldn't you caused know. the deaths of hundreds of personnel and civilians. People you worked with. People you trusted for your safety. And people some you may have even you. called friends once when they were alive. Did you hear the Master Sergeant's testimony? He witnessed that fucking creature ripping an eight-month-old child apart. Think of that. Were children just collateral damage in this plan of yours, you sick fuck? Stupid We had to fuck. show you. You didn't listen to us. That thing has to die. You and Dan are evil. You represent uh, everything that the Foundation cannot be. You must be great we secure from that the anomalies, we contain them, and we protect humanity so they don't have to suffer from them. We don't release them onto the world with our own selfish motives. I stand by my actions. And you die this with was them. twisted and evil and cunning. You do not have leave to authorize your own experiments that put innocent civilians' at lives at risk. Well, finally, you can now see why it has to die. I hear no remorse in your voice, Doctor. So what now? Dr. Alexei, I hereby find you guilty of treachery to the Foundation. The intentional release of a Euclid-class SCP resulting in mass loss of life. Euclid? The intentional release of sensitive information also resulting in mass loss of life. The inclusion of a civilian in an unauthorized experiment also leading to loss of life including the civilian. And severe gross negligence of your duties and responsibilities. You are hereby sentenced to execution. What? From this moment what? forward you are now under what arrest. What? You will be incarcerated until the earliest possible time your execution can be scheduled for. No, this was the right thing to do. You can't do this. Also, he as a result of your actions, like. your work contract and insurance plans are hereby revoked, including any compensation to your family in the result of your death. Your family will be informed you died with honor in the execution of your duty, when in reality, you died as a traitor to the people you are bound to protect. Fuck you! Yeah. In a rage, Dr. Alexei jumps from his chair and moves to attack 05-1. What did he think was gonna the happen? The guards immediately open fire him? on Dr. Alexei, resulting yeah. in the doctor's death. 
Man, that was too quick for him. Should have fed his ass to 682. I don't see what this Here has to do with Here you go. Here's me. something to play with. There's do no whatever you want with dumb it. dumb doctor. He told us everything. But then I guess there's no use feigning anything, is there? Audio recording, 05 hearing. Upon reviewing your testimony and available footage and the confession of the late Dr. Alexi, it is the unanimous agreement of the O5 that you are to be terminated for your part in the gross breach of SCP-096. And I thought you would know the meaning of for the greater good. For the greater Do not try my patience, Doctor. Given the incident's scope and potential, the O5 have approved your request for the termination of SCP-096. Given the lack of personnel with understanding of SCP-096, the termination will be entrusted to you, under heavy guard and the personal supervision of me. Of me? Your own termination will be scheduled at a later date. End log. Jeez. That is horrible, Doctor. How could you knowingly- It worked. There was only a matter of time until that happened in a major population center, and its face spread over the world news. I can kill O96, but I've killed myself in the process. And you've killed a whole bunch of other it. people too. Now, before we go Jack to the off. end credits and the next times, can I please take this moment to say the absolute biggest thank you to all of these amazing He's YouTubers so for so generously yeah. lending their voices the for this entry. For please go check them out. All links are in that the description. They all do various horror or SCP related readings and it would be well worth looking into. And there we go, everyone. That was the remastered SCP-096. I hope you enjoyed 62. it. Maybe I'll do that there were some next. significant improvements from the last one that you could all hear and see. AKA but that one will always termination be attempt. Next time, I will be doing a whole video dedicated to SCP-096 going up against SCP-682. And I will be including lots of battle drawings and some cool audio from the guards and the scientists' perspective. They were taking and bets. then after that one, we will have the <laughs> SCP-096 termination. Thank you all so much for watching like and for being so patient loses, and waiting you know, for this entry. Win. As always, check the Facebook and the Twitter for updates on video releases. And if you can't wait that long, then why not join the rest of the patrons and get all of the cool extras? You can Thumb get me early up. access to every video, the exclusive illustrated videos, access to the Tales and Canons. You get your own sketches, lifetime access to the Discord, video updates, your name in every single video. And okay. Alrighty, so, um, alright, so, SCP-096, this is a remastered video by SCP Illustrated, that was good, that was good, they did some really good voices on that, the artwork was actually really, really good, even though it's like all uh, pencil sketches, so it looks like it might be something from the files that they put together, you know, it's actually really cool, I like that, it's a very nice touch. So, um, if you guys enjoyed that, uh, just uh, leave a like, and uh, don't forget to click on the link to the original, get down to SCP Illustrated, and subscribe to them. They have 187k subs. Man, for the kind of work they put in this thing, I think they did more. I mean, SCP is another thing. It's just like TF2, where the potential is wasted. Okay? I mean, I'm not saying that the owner of the SCP and stuff should sell out or anything. No, 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 no. I just think it's that it sucks that no studio or anything could just try to use these characters in good faith you know because they that's why they won't use it because they have to own it they have to own it all it all has to belong to me all for me <laughs> you know they have to own it otherwise you know they're like <laughs> no they can't just make a video make a movie on it or something like that use the characters like a bit and stuff like that and just let them stay as public domain no no they have to own it it has to belong to them Otherwise, they won't touch it. No, I want to make $50 billion out of it. Otherwise, it's not worth it to me. And people will complain about how <laughs> how businesses want to make money. I mean, these guys are just bad. The movie industry is like one of the most greedy bastards you've ever saw. Anyway, yeah, enough of that rant. So, uh, before you guys go, don't forget to subscribe to me. And don't forget to share me on social media. Help this channel grow. And I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content and... Bye-bye.